Good morning. Friday morning here. This is like take 17 or something. I I can't get my words out that I'm trying to get out today. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the weekend. I hope you are too. The cold snap is behind us and the weather looks real promising for the next couple of days. So I'm hoping to get some family adventures in out in the snow. Um, the last couple of days I've had uh, n numerous conversations with people. Uh, and it's just kind of all been related to something that I think all of us are feeling from time to time and, and some maybe uh, a little bit more than others uh, at various times of the day or, or just maybe right now you're just kind of feeling like this is every day is you're just COVID exhausted, frustrated with all of, their, of all of it and just disappointed, whatever it might be. Well, I just want to remind you uh, that you know, our church has taken very seriously uh, the precautions in place, and we're trying to take care of the physical well-being of our community, but, but the emotional and spiritual well-being uh, for us has a higher priority, um, though the physical is important as well, and I'm not trying to diminish that. But the point of what I'm trying to say is this. We are allowed uh, a certain number of people in our sanctuary Sunday mornings, and I know a few of you have kind of mentioned in passing that, man, you just miss uh, worshiping together. And I know it's not, it's not going to be the same as it was if you show up on a Sunday morning, but you will be encouraged. There are some of us there that you can see, you can interact with in person, you can feel encouraged spiritually, you can be uplifted, uh, you can be challenged, and, and, I, and I think probably a little more effective uh, to grow in that in that way when we're there, even there if even if there's just a few of us together uh, and so I just want to make sure that you know that that is available uh, because uh, our fire capacity is a certain number and all those things we do need to know in advance uh, but that's no problem you can just email me text me phone me whatever and just say you know what uh, me and my family of three or or just yourself or, or whatever it might be just say uh, really like to come on Sunday morning so that I can mark you down, make sure that uh, we have enough uh, room for that. And, and frankly, if we don't have enough room, then we're going to figure out what to do about that. Uh, we, I, I have some kind of ideas uh, in mind about kind of the future uh, and where to go from here. Uh, but those conversations haven't really happened beyond in my own head. Um, because we just haven't had that many come yet. But I would be very encouraged to see a few more of you come. I know uh, a few of you that I've talked to, like I said in these past couple of days, have just said, yes, I'm coming. Uh, I just, I need, I need it. I need to be with a few other Christians. I want to be, uh, be able to see some people and, and chat with them for a few minutes after church. And, and so I just want to remind you, that option is available to you. All you need to do is let me know. I will mark you down, and uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday. I, I'm always uh, excited to see those few faces that, that are coming all the time right now. And, uh, and if, if you would like to come and you have it, that would be very encouraging too. So that's that's one thing. I do want to encourage you with your, with your mental and your spiritual health is... Uh, it can be tough right now, and I just really want to encourage you to spend time in the Word, spend time in prayer. I'm, I'm just finishing uh, a section for a book for a seminary class. It's just, it's not an academic book, it's just a practical one called Habits of Grace, and it's just reminding me of certain areas uh, that, that I need to do a little bit better job of, of making them habits in my life, making them just just things that I do because I see the value in them and the self-discipline is there so that they just become part of my day-to-day -day routine. And, and if you're like me, and I'm sure many of you uh, can relate, it's, it's, there are seasons in our life where we're much better in, in our prayer life or uh, in, our, uh, in our quiet time with God, uh, with our scripture readings, uh, and sometimes those don't go as well. Uh, and so I'm just being reminded that through this book that, man, those are important things, and, and especially right now. So I just really encourage you, make sure you are being intentional uh, in going to the Word, in spending time in prayer, uh, and just really focusing on God uh, in these moments. And, and hopefully we can move past the frustrations, the difficulties, and, and we can find some hope in, in the Scripture.
So that's just my little encouragement uh, for you today. In the book that I was reading, uh, there was a, just a little section that kept reminding me of just how many times in the New Testament we're told to never stop praying. Pray continually without ceasing. Always lift your voice up in prayer. Uh, gather together in prayer over and over and over in the New Testament. It reminds us of that. And so I would just challenge you today, uh, find yourself a little bit of time to spend some time in prayer. And please, if you would like to uh, attend church, if you just feel, man, I really could benefit from that uh, this week, just let me know and we'll make sure to mark you down for that. I hope you do have a good weekend. I hope you're able to get out and spend some time with your with your family, with uh, with those that uh, that you love uh, in, in one way or another. And I look forward to uh, another great Sunday to, together uh, with you. Have a wonderful week.